G'day, it's Pete, and uh, I thought I'd take a break from all those world champion reviews and actually play some bridge. So uh, let's get in and take a look at the uh, weekly free instant tournaments. My, my mind's gone mush. I, I completely forgot what it was called for a second. It's only like my 360th time doing this, and I can't remember. Anyway, uh, let's jump in. In BBO, you want to go up to Solitaire Bridge, then down to Weekly Free Instant Tournament. And let's give this a shot. All right. Uh, so what do we got here? We got 17 points, five card hearts. Let's go on past two spades. So I think there's like three relatively reasonable choices here. Uh, so the first is you could just bid three hearts and just overcall hearts. Uh, the next is you could just overcall two no trumps. Or maybe you could make a takeout double. Uh, all three have their pros and cons. So with the double, uh, the main issue here is you'd never show your fifth heart. But like, you know, whatever. Um, with two no trumps, we're in the right point range. We've got a stopper. Uh, but ace doubleton is significantly worse than ace third because you can't do hold up plays very effectively. Um, so if you gave me like the same sort of hand, uh, but three spades to the ace, I'd probably just be over calling two no trumps, but I think I'm going to go ahead and bid three hearts here. Uh, main issue with three hearts is the, uh, wide range of points that your hand can have. Um, and it might not propel you into a game, but, uh, here I got penalty doubled and then my partner's like, okay, what about clubs? So... Uh, seeing as they're trying to double me at the three level, I'm probably not going to try and go for the five level. So I'll give that a shot and no double. Partner's got a great hand. So uh, firstly, three no trumps <laughs> was the way to go. Uh, so if I bid um, two no trumps, then uh, partner can bid three no trumps. We've just got the first nine tricks. Uh, playing in, uh, four clubs, uh, I have two spade losers, a diamond loser, and a heart loser. Um, it looks like, uh, I'm going to lose the diamond. I'm going to lose the heart and I have to try and reduce my spades from two to one. Now for that, I just want to try and trump a spade, but we know spades are six, two, uh, East has six spades. Uh, so I'll need to be able to save this ace of clubs to trump one. So I'm just going to win the ace of spades. And I think I'll draw one round of trumps, will I? If I play one round of trumps, it might be a bit awkward to get back to the north hand conveniently. So maybe I just uh, go ahead and just return a spade. Main issue here is if clubs are 4-0, but if clubs are 4-0, there's not a great deal I can do. Other issue is heart uh, six one. If they continued another one there, um, it would have been awkwardly placed. So we'll play a club over to the king. No four zero break, so we can just rough that. And uh, then just go back to clubs. And uh, clubs broke nicely, so no real issues on this hand. And the opponents are going to keep their like they're going to get one more trick. So we're going to be making 10. Um, yeah, probably a bad score, but not terrible. 71%. Yeah, uh, definitely not terrible. Uh, all right, 71%. Uh, uh, so yeah, some people were bidding five clubs. All right, so they ignored the fact that they got penalty smashed. Uh, some people chose a uh, takeout double and then partner just bids 11 soul and you just bid, uh, three clubs. Someone did overcall two no trumps and that your partner doesn't raise the three. Oh, I'd feel gutted, but you still get 96% for that. And someone did manage the over trick. How on earth did they do that? They ducked the first trick. Drew trumps and then just roughed it. Oh, they played that pretty brazenly. They uh, drew trumps using the ace of clubs so that they couldn't uh, rough a spade high anymore. So if clubs were 3-1, that wasn't crash hot. 
And yeah, doesn't look like uh, there was anything I particularly missed there. So 71%, I'll take it. Um, 11 points. I'm happy to open a 5431 like this. Part a bit of spades, so I'll just raise to two spades. My hand's getting significantly better as we the bidding progress, so that's good. And here we've got three spade losers. Uh, depends which hand I want to count from, but let's say mine. Uh, no diamonds, one club, and two hearts. So uh, maybe I can just trump one of my hearts. Uh, also, I could just like play a club and maybe ditch one on a club. So I think I'm just going to win and just start with a club. I do need to be worried about them roughing diamonds. So we'll just set up this club here. They kind of have to take their heart trick now. And now they might play a diamond. No. All right, we get to trump. And now we just uh, play spades. Now I had jack 10, 9, 8. So don't forget this, this, even this four of spades will get good. Well, let's go out of my way to try and win a trick with the four of spades. Okay, a three, two went. Um, there's just one spade left out. That's there. And uh, we got the rest. So making two. Pretty routine board. Yeah, some people pass it in, but five, four, three, ones, elevens. Uh, totally a worthwhile opening. Uh, moving into board number three, and we've got 14 points. So start with a spade. Spade, two spades, double. Okay, so first of all, am I interested in game? Evaluating the singleton queen is kind of a bit difficult. It's not worth like three points for a singleton and two for a queen. Um, I basically just evaluate it as what's ever better. So I'd say this is worth about three points. So my hand's worth about 15 points and my partner's six to nine. Um, so I don't think that I want to give game a shot. Like what would I need to be making game? Like king of spades, ace of clubs, king of spades, ace, queen of clubs. It's maybe like a few others that I can do, but like we're going to run into a bad spade break and uh, some other stuff. Uh, now the next question is, do I even want to push on to three spades? And if I do, do I want to do it immediately or not at all? The vulnerability is good for it. Um, I'm curious to see if they bid diamonds. If they don't bid diamonds. Uh, if they bid hearts or clubs, I think at this vulnerability, I actually want to try and defend. So we'll, okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm not pushing on to three spades and I'm glad that I, I waited. Hey David, how's it going? And partner's got a nice hand. Uh, we got nine points opposite my 14. Um, that's 23, 17 missing. Uh, I am going to be running into a bad spade break. For them to pass here, like spades are probably five zero. Uh, I have a club loser. I got a heart loser and a diamond loser and a couple of spade losers. Okay, so. Uh, I want to throw a heart on the king of diamonds, but I also don't want to lose control. I'd really like them to take the, uh, the ace of clubs. Okay, so my club suit's now set up. And they're trying to get roughs, which they might. Okay, so they're roughed in there. Okay, so at this stage, um, I still want to ditch a heart on the king of king there um i might lose ace of diamonds ace of clubs and like they can get one more rough like they can get the ace of diamonds one more rough and the king queen of spades okay i think i want to save that king of hearts entry and i'll just uh, knock out the ace of diamonds here and now they get another rough Okay, so they've trumped in twice in with the top heart and we'll let uh, that go. Okay, so uh, if spades are five zero, they've got king, queen, third, spade. Is there anything I can do in that situation? I don't think so. So maybe spades are four one. 
So let's just play a spade to the ace. We can see a low spade and then just claim uh, down one. 57%. Don't think there's any, uh, well, people are making it. People are making over tricks. Okay, so. Yeah, club roughed. Jack of hearts, they win. Ace of spades. And they play a club themselves. And let's take the spades, yeah. Okay, so here uh, they can throw their heart away on the club, but they're in the wrong hand. But they manage to basically time playing a diamond towards the queen. And the opponents don't hop up with the ace of diamonds to get it. Um, yeah. Like it, t for me, timing that was a bit awkward where it's just guaranteeing that I didn't lose a heart. Um, whereas, yeah, I, I thought I'd just make sure I didn't lose that heart trick. So I thought that was the way to go, but, uh, some people managed to sneak it. So well done to them. Um, still traveling well, 61%. Moving on to board four and we've got, uh, 13 high card points. Partners opened. We have a diamond fit. A uh, slam in diamonds could be a genuine possibility here, but we'll start with one heart. Okay, we found a heart fit as well. We've got a nine card heart fit, a nine card diamond fit. Uh, let's say partner's got the ace of hearts, ace of diamonds, right? And then we've got five diamonds, five hearts. Uh, if my partner's got, say, three spades and two clubs, we could throw a club away and then maybe just trump my clubs. So if I've got ace of hearts, Ace of diamonds, maybe ace queen of hearts and hearts break. I think I'm going to be bidding slam here. Uh, I don't think there would be any way to be able to tell if six, uh, seven's making like I can see hands where seven makes, uh, but I can't see how I could find out. Does partner have the ace queen of hearts, ace of diamonds, do hearts break. We're just going to go ahead and bid six hearts. Okay. I got the Ace of Diamonds. I'm missing the Queen of Hearts. Uh, West over cold, East jump raised. I only had three diamonds. Um, because they're the four, four, three, two. Uh, right. Well, it looks like I just need the Queen of Hearts to be in this East hand. I could play for East to have double to ace of hearts, play up to the king and exit a heart. Um, but I think West doesn't have the king of spades, more likely to have it. So we will finesse and it worked. They returned. Great. So a bit fortunate there, but uh, making 12. 89%. As I said, if partner had ace of hearts, ace of diamonds, that's great. Like that ace of clubs, completely useless, and I still made slam. Um, with the ace of spades, then um, I just needed to guess the hearts and make that. All right, uh, moving on to board number five. Here we've got uh, 13 points. I'm just going to bid a heart. Partner bit of spade. This usually shows five as the partner of the overcaller. So um, I could support here, but they are a past hand and my queen of diamonds doesn't look great. So I'm just going to leave it in one spade and then maybe push on to two spades if I need to. Right. Partner's got a really good hand here. Uh, they got 10 points. The king of diamonds fits my queen well. Uh, I've still got the ace of spades to lose a queen. Club loser and a diamond. I can probably trump a club. Um, I could just duck that first club. I think that's probably pretty reasonable. If, even if I raise to two spades, I'm not sure they're getting to a, a game contract, but. 
Okay. So I can still rough the club at my leisure. Let's just draw one round of trumps. Okay, can diamonds be 6-2? East open to diamond, so I can always trump that low. And let's draw a round of trumps. Okay, they're 3-1. So east is like a 5-4-3-1. Something. I'm just going to take my ace-king of hearts. I don't believe west can trump while I do this. And we'll play a club to the ace. We'll then trump the uh, club. And the reason I did this first was there was some chance that West could just like discard there uh, as I played the club and roughed. Uh, here there was no risk of that. So then we can just trump in and we've got the uh, queen of spades for uh, 10 tricks. 42%. So we did miss a game. Uh, what happens if you raise to two spades? If you bid two spades, partner bids three clubs game try. Yeah. I don't see why I would be uh, accepting that. Some people bid three diamonds counter try and then raised. So I think getting to four spades is like kind of difficult opposite like a passed hand. I think if partner wasn't a passed hand, I would be uh, much more inclined, but I got a hand that didn't want to open and I've got a balanced 13 count uh, with the queen of diamonds, which is in the opponent's suit. Quite happy there just uh, playing uh, just in a part score. Found partner with six card suit, maximum hand. And you saw that there was still some work there. Um, it wasn't just an absolute cruise, but uh, 10 tricks were to be made. Uh, flat 13 here, so one club. A double here should show both majors, and I like it to be specifically 4-4. Four, four. Uh, some people have it be more length, but I feel like if you double with, like, say, five hearts and four spades in this spot, it's, like, really difficult to show your fifth heart. Anyway, uh, he said I got good support for diamonds, so I'll tell partner about our spades. Three hearts. Okay, so partner almost certainly has longer hearts than uh, spades. So I think they're showing like the five four that I said is like really difficult to try and show. I've got nothing about this hand that says it's worthwhile pushing on. Uh, the opponent's being in four diamonds is like pretty rare. It's not often you try and uh, bid up bid up that high. And here, interestingly, uh, West has a singleton spade. I also think my partner's got five hearts. So I think West has like two hearts and one spade and maybe six diamonds and four clubs. Not sure where we're getting our tricks for starters, but uh, let's win that. Um, I'm not sure I'm in a rush to, to get tricks anywhere. Um, like the main concern I've got is West as a singleton king of spades, and then maybe they can throw a heart away. Like that, that's a genuine possibility. Um, my partner hasn't led that ace of hearts, which, uh, or the king of hearts, which they would usually do from ace king. So if I lead a heart and West has the king, it can pick up the heart suit, which I don't really want to do. I'm just going to return a diamond, just be passive here. Okay, so they do have six diamonds. They discarded a heart. It's really looking like the um, five, five, four, three, one sort of thing, or the six, four in. Okay. Just continue a spade. They can rough again. They're just going to have to open up uh, hearts themselves towards the end. Yep, there's the ace and heart to me. Okay. 
and they're down. Oh, okay. So partner did have only four hearts. Great. So we get a bonus trick there. 96%. Don't know why my partner chose three hearts as their bid, uh, but yeah. pretty happy with that. Uh, just being nice and passive there, plus 200. Not rushing to try and get any tricks, not trying to push too hard on the hand. Um, moving on to board number seven, and we've got 14 points. Ace King, Ace King, we've got both mages. Ace King Doubleton's not great, but I just absolutely love Ace King. So I'm actually going to upgrade into a no trump. Partner's not interested. West has shown both mages. Wow. Okay. So they're in two hearts. West has both mages. Um, I could lead a diamond here. Have a look at the dummy. Okay. That's a pretty good dummy. Uh, right, so what happened to that? Ace of diamonds, and they roughed. So they're a 5503. And they had 12 high card points with my 14 is 26. And now they'll switch to clubs. So East has high clubs. Now void there, wow. Just cross roughing a little bit. I think they're going to make this pretty comfortably. It's always sad when you have to start throwing away from your ace king. Okay, heart lead would have worked uh, wonders there. We've got 57%. Uh, a lot of people in five clubs. So if you open a club like a normal person, two clubs, Michael's three clubs. And yeah, if you, there's no real reason to push on there. If we lead a heart, do we get an extra trick? Oh, not for that. Um, yeah, so a heart lead holds it to nine tricks for the win. Okay, uh, currently 67%. One board to go. What can we do? Uh, we got a flat 15. Three passes to me. One no. One no, three no. All right. Okay, so I got four diamond tricks, three club winners. And uh, I need to build an extra trick in either spades, hearts, or clubs. Okay, partner's got 11, so we've got 26. There's 14 points missing, and they're both passed. Three hearts, hearts are 4 3. We'll start with a low heart, see what happens. Okay. Uh, so here, in theory, the opponents can build their third heart trick before I can set up my spades. Uh, that being said, uh, I first want to put them to the test of can they keep going with hearts. Um, also, uh, the other thing I can do is just start with spades, and if they do keep going with hearts, I can always play clubs um, for four tricks. And the way that you want to play a six card fit missing the jack is take the ace and then low towards the 10 and hope West has the jack. Uh, but uh, I don't need to commit to that. I, there's lots of stuff I can do first. So uh, let's just win and push with the spade. Okay. I also think counting high card points is good. Um, okay, they haven't tested us. So we do have those two spades. He didn't keep going with hearts, and we got the rest. Okay. 64%. So finish with 66.9 or 67.0, depending on where you look. Uh, but uh, finished in uh, first place. So 
pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, uh, the I guess one that I could have done better is maybe supported partner on board five. I think it's still a bit of a stretch to get the game on that one. Uh, board three was also interesting about trying to sneak a diamond to the queen. Anyway, uh, that was this week's weekly free instant tournament. Thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.